Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods Gravitas. Uh, this is currently working, and we've got all of the, the belts coming out of the cloches right now. Thing is, uh, I set this up last episode, didn't I, with the belts and everything, and uh, between episodes I managed to get them all spinning in the correct direction. I also made the brass funnels and then put the the, the filters on there. Um, yeah, it's not broken. Everything is absolutely fine. We're just full up on seed oil, ethanol, and biodiesel. So we are now at the stage where we could do with making a biodiesel. Uh, what's it called? Diesel. I always find it really difficult to spell diesel. I don't know why. Uh, diesel. Gotcha. I might start calling it diesel just to annoy everyone. Uh, yeah, so the diesel generator. I should really make one of these before I make anything else. You know what? I don't think we need to make it quite yet. I know this is a bit of a waste if we don't do that, but I think it's fine. We can just we can leave this to do its thing. Uh, we've got our biodiesel in the ender tank right here, so uh, we could convert our bucket into an ender tank. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is I'm digging still. I'm using the create method because it need, needed to be done. Uh, and if I go over to ion, it's my new iron area. Um, This should be chunk loaded. I don't know why that... Yeah, it is chunk loaded. I have uh, expanded. So that right there is an 8x8, eight eight, which means we can get a quarter of a chunk. So this is a quarter chunk destroyer. That's how I'm thinking about it. It's still going. It's rather slow, though. This was a weird one as well, because um, my... Uh, it's in my backpack. Prospector's pick. Oh, I don't like that. When you shift click out of like an inventory, it goes into this part and not your hot bar. Also, when you pick something up, it goes. Okay, that was a bad example. If, uh, if for example, I put these two down, and then I pick them up. Never mind. It. <laughs> if I do that and then pick it up, there we go. It goes into the uh, inventory instead of your hot bar. That feels really weird to me, because it's not like that in any other pack. Uh, but this one's weird because the prospector's pick did not pick anything up. All I did was find these small limonites, and I was like, okay, that thing does, does look like it's stopped, and I don't know why. Let's have a go. Um, maybe it's just a graphical thing, and it hasn't stopped. It's just... There you go. Okay, now it is definitely moving. We just saw it move. Uh, but yeah, I got a bunch of iron out of this on my first run. So that was pretty good. Uh, this does hit water at some point. So normally what I do is I look at the sides. And I'm like, okay, that side there has some limonite, for example. Uh, so I just expand it out that way. Unfortunately, it's this side that's got limonite, which means it's across a chunk. So we are going to have to do like a few chunks, but now that we've um, expanded that thing, it should be quicker, just overall quicker. Uh, but if we pop back to Pilpco and I have a look out here, I really need to hook this up to power over there and move everything over, but I, I'm taking my time. This was from the first, the first like run through. That's an, an amazing amount of iron right there. Um, I do crush up my iron because uh, if we go to pulverizer, you get a chance at getting nickel for one thing, and you get a 25% chance to get another iron. So that just, you know, it's a bit of a duplicate right there. I also finished off my copper mine. There is literally none there anymore. So um, I am, yeah, I'm going to be in need of copper at some point. Probably, I'll have to set the mine up again. Unless 
By the time we run out of copper, we've got ourselves an excavator for it. That would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, I, I am making more iron. Oh, we got some nickel already. How cool is that? But yeah, I'm making more iron because we are going to need a bunch more iron. And this is my iron supply right now. <laughs> and my steel supply. So I don't think that's going to be enough to make the arc furnace. How many do we need for... Okay, we need six steel blocks. I don't think this is six. Which means we are going to have to make some more. Uh, okay, that's not how I want to do it. Let's just do one of those and then... I pressed E instead of R. There we go. Oh, you can do it with plates. That's pretty cool. Six steel blocks. Is that literally how many we needed? It is. Okay, well, we'll do that. <laughs> Why not? That's pretty good. Um, so, with six steel blocks, we can make the arc furnace, because those go up the side like that. And then I need 27 plus, like, a bunch more steel. Okay, we could do that. We could definitely do that. How are we doing on the iron over here? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um, I'm also thinking, why don't we make a powered furnace? So then we don't have to use this anymore. Uh, so I think what I might do today is set up my machines from Thermal Expansion. So there's a bunch of machines that I actually want from Thermal. So if we look up Thermal, all the machines are at the beginning, which is amazing. So first off, we're going to want a redstone fur. I might get yeah, I should get rid of all of this for now, and we'll come back to that. But yeah, we want a redstone furnace. I don't think we can do a sawmill because we can't put the... Yeah, we can only put like regular stuff in there. So we're not doing that. Pulverizer we already have. Induction spatter might be a good idea. Because we can... The ones we accidentally turned into plates, for example. We can do alloys in there. Silk, silk touched stuff. Also, really? Silk touched gives you uh, an entire ingot if you do that. That's actually really good for us. Oh, wow. Okay, does it have to be rich? Oh, it looks like it has to be the rich version of it to get yourself the, uh, uh, the yeah, the ingots. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, what else can we do? Uh, lead. I, I'm more interested in the alloys, I suppose. Are they saying that we have got the alloy kiln? Can we make the the alloys from... Ooh, yeah, we might have to do that for cured rubber. Uh, yeah, can we make the alloys from um, Terra Firma Craft? Well, we can do that one. That one's pretty good. Although we are lacking on tin. Ooh, actually, that might be really useful for us because we do need to get some netherite at some point. Is that what raw tin looks like? That looks funny. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, I'll stop looking through this because... Oh, you can just make that normally, can't you? Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop going through this because, uh, yeah. Oh, crap, it's already... It's night time and snowing. Even though it's late winter right now, so it should calm itself. It's early spring. Stop snowing, thank you very much. Because the snow is so annoying. Uh, but yeah, we are going to need... Let's just chuck those in there for now. Probably the induction smelter. Although, uh, I'm going to leave the induction smelter off for now. We could use a phytogenic insulator. But I feel like... We would get more out of it by using cloches. So, for example, it has potatoes straight away, which is really good. You get one on a uh, twenty percent chance to get the seed back, whereas in the cloche, you get two potatoes and a hundred percent chance to get another seed. So, yeah, that one maybe we don't use. There might be some in here that we could. That is interesting. Does that work with the oak? Because that'll be our tree farm. 
Oh, you can stick a normal potato in there to get a... Poisonous potatoes don't do anything, though. Oh, that would be a pretty good chance of food as well. I wonder if it's got the terra firma craft trees, or at least the oak tree? If it's got oak... Oh, wait. Birch sapling Minecraft. I know we've got some birch. Birch sapling. Ah, okay. We could potentially get ourselves that that'll be a way better tree farm than the, what, what I was thinking. I was thinking we would do a uh uh like cordon off a big area right here to do like the create one where I we set it up in creative a while back, so but that is super interesting. We are definitely going to do a phytogenic insulator. If I go back to... Oh, there it is. Oak. You get six wood out of it. That's actually insane. And that's regular wood as well. Which we can use to just like make whatever we want. And you can convert it into regular planks. That seems like a bug. Because you don't need to use the saw for that. But, I mean, by the time you've got lead and stuff, you've had to have done like a bunch of stuff. Okay, anyway, right. The centrifugal separator. Uh, we can't use it to put on bitumous sand because we don't have any. And I don't think it spawns in this pack. Actually kind of interesting. We, If we uh, accidentally make too many electrum, we can get the, the gold and the silver out of it again, for example. I wonder if that works for other things. I think I did see some, yeah, bronze blend which we can pulverize down some bronze and we can get the tin and the copper out of it. So technically you can, okay, this is really bad, I know, but what we could do is we can make a bunch of bronze with the 90% copper and the 10% tin. We can make like 40 of it, for example, and then that would be like barely any tin. And then we could stick it through this separator once we've uh, like, ground it down in the pulverizer and we could get like a bunch of tin out of it that's that seems like a really stupid thing to do though so we're going to ignore that one uh the press is interesting because we can make these plates but these plates aren't used for anything right now other than to make the banner pattern but don't really need to do that and i don't we could use the gear working die, but we've got the thing from immersive engineering, don't we? We've got this this bad boy over here, which I might make a couple more of them, and then I will stop forgetting which one of these I've got in there. So we don't really need the multi servo, unless there's something that I'm completely forgetting. Magma crucible, that one's interesting because we can convert. Is it? Yeah, we can convert cobblestone into lava with a bit of power. It's actually a really good idea. We could probably set up an igneous extruder to get us some cobblestone. And then just output it into here. Yeah, I think that might be a good good plan at some point. But we don't need it yet. So I'm going to say magma crucible, no. The blast chiller... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Blast chiller is a maybe. Because... We can make ice out of it. We can make obsidian out of the lava that we can produce. Resonant ender, I'm not exactly sure where we can get that, like, in bulk, but... Maybe no on the blast chiller for now. The fractioning still... It's tree oil, syrup, it's from sap. So you get syrup, which then... Syrup bottle... Okay, not sure what that's used for. I don't know what tree oil. You can feed tree oil to the... Okay, maybe that is a good thing. Because we can use the arboreal extractor to get resin. There we go. So we can get an oak tree, and then we can get a load of resin out of it. What are the other bits that you can get from here? So latex as well. You can get that from a palm tree. Or a sequoia tree. Or a kabok? Pock? Kapok. Anyway. 
That might be an interesting one to get. Uh, we are definitely going to want a pyrolyzer because I actually... Oh, there we go. I was uh, running out of uh, water right there. Anyway, I went and got a load of lignite because lignite... Uh, I accidentally set one of my waypoints as lignite. So uh, I think it's this one. So over here, I've, I've just put it as coal for now, but there is like a bunch more lignite around this area. I just, um, I thought it was iron because lignite sounds like limonite to me. So I went over there and I set up my quarter chunk destroyer. And then um, I was like, ah, lignite is not what I was thinking of. So we could go over there and get like a bunch of coal and that would be super useful because you can stick this in a pyrolyzer and we can get ourselves some crude oil. So we don't have to go find it anywhere. Uh, we can use that crude oil in a distillation tower to get lubricant, naphtha, kerosene. Uh, what was that? Something diesel? Eh. Sulfurized diesel. Okay, what can we do with sulfurized diesel? Oh, that's pretty cool. High pressure refinery unit. We could get diesel out of it and we could get some sulfur. Does it have to take... Okay, no, it can take any type of water and some sulfur diesel and we can get diesel and sulfur. Not bad. So that's one way to get proper diesel. And then we can use the diesel in the diesel generator. Uh, but this won't make us that much crude oil, because as you saw right here, uh, it's only 10 millibuckets per. But we also get cold coke out of it, and we get tar. And as we saw, uh, you can make the wooden storage crates, which are really good storage, because they're like shulker boxes. You can pick them up. So pyrolyzer definitely needed. The encapsulator. I don't think there's anything in here that I want to use. I mean, there, there's the uh, the concrete powder recipes. But I think concrete powder... Oh, no, it's the same recipe. No way. Okay. It's just a regular recipe with sand and gravel. Interesting. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm not sure there's anything we need that for. Crystallizer and the sequence... Okay, what, what can we use the crystallizer for? Uh, just anything ground down. Oh, we get an amethyst crystal, though. I don't think there's anything great that we can do with that. So it looks like the three that we're going to need are, well, including the, I'll put the pulverizer up there. We're going to need a pulverizer, which we've already got. We're going to need a redstone furnace, a pyrolyzer, and phytogenic insulator just for wood, because that'd be really, really useful. Uh, with the phytogenics as well, there's an upgrade that you can do. So in this situation, you put a seed in and the seed gets used up, but you get another seed back. Or there's an additional 20% chance to get the seed back. I'm not sure how that works, but it uses up whatever is, whatever is in here. But there is one of these upgrades. I think it's this one here. Uh, the catalyst... The cat this thing, the reclamation chamber thing, what that does is it just puts the seed back in. So we could do that for, where is the, yeah, there we go. We are going to go, have to go and get a load, a load of uh, oak saplings though. It's a bit of a pain, but it's kind of a tree farm. I don't know if you just get this one back straight away anyway, or if we're going to have to boost it up and... I don't know, you know. I'm sure we'll figure that one out. Okay, so I've laid out all of the kind of bits that we're going to need. So we are going to need three machine frames, which means we're going to need to hammer a bunch of stuff down because how many is that? That's eight right there. Eight iron. So oh, flipping it. That's a lot of hammering down. Now I'm thinking we should go back to the arc furnace, but we don't have enough iron for that yet. Or steel, I should say. And we should have like a bunch of iron over here. That's not bad at all right there. Speaking of iron, this looks like it's done because we can see the rope. So now, uh, I don't know why it didn't. Ah, there we go. 
I'll spin this all the way down to, well, all the way up or down. And that'll bring this all the way back up. Clunk. Turn that off, and then I can have a look through all of these. Oh, look at that. Look at how much limonite we get. Oh, crap. Did you, um... You filled up all of these. That is not good. Does that mean that all of the stuff that it did mine despawned? I might have to go down there, which is fine because we've got a water bucket so we can jump down because there's water. I feel like everything did despawn, which is a bit of a poop. Wow, look at that. Oh, crap. I need to get back up. Swim! Swim! Huh. Yeah. Okay, so... Stick a couple of torches down. We can see how much... That's quite a lot right here. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay, it looks like... Most of the vein is on this side, so I'm going to go off this side next. Now, I got rid of my hopper because I put it up there for inserting all of the limonite. So, all of these... I just did these off camera, by the way. Uh, we can just lob all of these on here. Oh, I knew that would happen. Pick one up. Those are all being turned into iron sheets, and then we can use those to make these machine frames. I'm going to need to make a bunch of lead gears, or three lead gears, I should say, not a bunch. That should be easy enough. We can do that over here as well. We can use this press. And I can just lob all of these on. I don't think the gear ones actually work, like, from a, a hopper. It just, it, they don't want to go on for some reason. Uh, I'm also going to need a couple of copper gears for the redstone furnace. I'm going to need some lumium gears, which is the thing that, uh, yeah, I forgot about. And some constantan gears. Okie dokie. I think we can make constantan quite easily. It's just nickel and... Uh, yeah, we got some nickel still. Good. So we only need that amount, I believe. Wait. That's going to make us four, and we need... Let's put one of those back, yeah. I think this should make us the amount we need for the Constantan. And, yeah, I need to go get the Lumium, which I'm going to use the dust recipe. So, uh, where is the dust recipe? That one. So it's a bit of silver, lot of tin. Oh, tin is going to be a pain. And we need some glowstone. Maybe we hold off on making the Phytogenic for a while. Yeah. Because we don't have that much tin. Do we have any tin? That's the big question. No. None. I haven't found a Cacellarite vein at all yet. That's a bit of a poop. Ooh, it's becoming uh, springtime now, by the way. So, Oh, wow. This is uh, uncovered itself again. I need to fill this all back in. This was where my old... Uh... Are these all... Two months. Okay, well, I can eat these. Yeah, this is where all of my um, cloches used to be, right? So I had, like, the water wheel underneath. Right, anyway, I am going to get all of the bits together for this. We might need to go into the nether. I can't remember if I've got a blaze rod or not. But we might need to go into the nether. Uh, we don't need nether bricks because I've got a bunch of those. Other than that, I think everything's good. You little... Come back here. Yeah, get some. Anytime I go near one of my chests, which has got rotten fruit in it, or rotten food in general, uh, like if I open this one up, it's got rotten food in it. It's got all my rotten food. It um, spawns a rat. So I have to open the chest, I believe. Like right there, I opened this one. It's got some rotten spud in it. Uh, anyway, right, I'll be back. So there is the redstone furnace. 
and I think I've got everything. Oh, I do have a blaze rod. Look at me coming prepared. We've got a pyrolyzer as well. Oh, amazing. Uh, it is night time. I am going to move my pulverizer over to our new setup and I'll meet you over there. Okay, this is what I've set up for now because, ouch, this is really, really painful walking past this. Uh, look at my health. It's half health. Uh, that's because I accidentally touched one of these wires. MV is very dangerous. Just putting that out there. So, what we've got here, pulverizer. I can put anything in here and then the pulverizer will pulverize it down and stick it into this barrel here. Then the redstone furnace. I have put auto input and auto output, meaning that it will pull from this chest. Redstone furnace will pick it up, turn it into whatever it needs. So like if it's copper dust, for example, turn it into copper ingots and put it into this barrel. And then we got the pyrolyzer over here who is pulling from the top and then pushing out the side. Uh, I should go get all of my lignite that I accidentally mined. And we should pop that in the pyrolyzer and then we can get ourselves some, some oil. I don't think this is how you're supposed to get oil. I'm just putting that out there because I think you're meant to get it from a drill. Is it the Derek? Derek? Okay, that's funny. It, it does some weird stuff with lighting right there. Weird. Anyway, yeah, that is very slow. And this takes a 5 RF, RF. Okay, it's got a really, really high buffer. So each of these takes 20. These should definitely be able to run like full time if we needed them to. Um, another thing that I was planning on pulling over here was uh, my ore maker or whatever it's called. You know, the thing where it takes all of the like lig, no, not lignite. What's it? Limonite. So it takes all of these things. Flux compactor. That's the badger. So I was thinking about putting the flux compactor on top of the pulverizer. And then we can just chuck a bunch of stuff in the flux compactor, set the pulverizer to pull from top. And then that will pulverize it down. Only issue with that is there's a few things that doesn't that don't go in the, the flux compactor. So uh, not in the flux compactor, sorry, in the pulverizer. So raw zinc doesn't go in pulverizer. Uh, nickel does, copper does. Tin definitely does as well. Silver, I think it's just a few of the create ones. It might just be zinc, you know. I think it is just zinc. Yeah, it looks like to me it's just zinc that doesn't go in there. So in that case, let's go grab. There you go. The flux compactor is what I was going to say. But then I didn't want to show you the, the whole run over there again. So this doesn't have power, which is fine because we can hook that up right here. I don't want to get too close, otherwise zap and I might die. So now, this is pulling from the top, meaning it's pulling from here. So if I stick that in, it won't pull into the pulverizer, no. It's only going to... This doesn't have an output slot, so this must output to the bottom. I might have to up this one and put a hopper in between. I've just realised... Uh, we can check that out in a minute. Anyway, I've got a load of raw iron right there. This is a lot slower. The, the redstone furnace is going to be a lot slower because it does it one by one. But it's automatable, right? Whereas... Oh, there we go. You can already see it. Seriously? Is, at least is the rain going to get rid of some of this snow? That would be useful. Anyway. Yeah, as you can see, it's just going to do one by one. But that is getting us... Uh, we put 20 in. Let's see how many we get out. I added a bunch of storage to this and forgot to superglue it down. Classic. Let's see if these did get... Did they all get full up again? Oh, poop. I think they did. That's very annoying. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, thank goodness. Now oh, we're all good. Okay, well... We can at least do a test of 
the limonite right here. Cool. And before I go, I am going to quickly... Uh, let's do from here to there. And that way, these are in. Yeah. Perfect. Right, we leave that for now. Okay, let's try this out. Stick all of those in. Are you going to put... Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ooh, I wonder what happens if we... We've got, like, iron in here, but then we put, like, copper in here. I think it just won't do the process, and it will just say there's no valid inventory for the thing. It won't just void it off. I wonder if I should call this the QCD, Quarter Chunk Destroyer. Now, this is how you get cold coke. This is awesome. We've also got a load of tar now. Mmm, yes, we are definitely going to make some of those crates. Those crates are actually bigger than this. I might replace all the barrels. Right here with crates. Uh, I think I can only make... F oh my... God, why can't I do a... There we go. I can only make four of them for now. I might have some... Uh... Oh my god. These are all over the place right now. Uh, let me go get some treated wood. So we can make four of these crates. And that is a new recipe added. I also think you can... Ooh, we can get the engineer's toolbox. Aluminium is actually kind of hard to come by though. And I think the reinforced one is its the exact same. It's just, uh, I think it's creeper proof. So we don't really need that, do we? Because creepers don't really turn up. I think what I'll do. Ah, let's have a look first. Oh, we get an extra layer. I like that. Uh, so if we break that one. Look at all the iron we got. What the heck? That was that's pretty good. And we got enough to make one more, which means we can replace this one. Yeah. Just chuck those back in there and chuck all of these back in here. Give it a sort. Lovely jubbly. That's just going to... I do need to do something about the crude oil though, right? I'm going to have to pump out of this somehow. I could technically put a create tank underneath because this can auto output the crude oil into the create tank or just a regular tank to be fair we can make the tank from or the barrel sorry from immersive i think this is looking pretty neat now i did a, a an okay job i think here we go so this thing here i did have a comment about this saying that what we could have done and this might have been easier to be fair is had a weighted ejector uh, weighted, no, that's not how you spell it. There's an E in weighted, brilliant. So we could have used one of these weighted ejectors, which is just a depot and some gold and stuff. Uh, so this would come this way. The weighted ejector, what it does is it just like pings. It just, it, when something goes onto it, you can set like over here to be where it lands. The only issue with that is it has like an arc where it lands so i've got all of these things on top if i used hoppers maybe if i put hoppers here we might be able to get it so it flings it all the way over and lands on this side and then goes through again and then we just have this on this side and that would uh save us a couple of belts uh but because i've got the shoots because shoots are really cheap compared to hoppers if i would put the weighted ejector here They'd fling up and they'd hit either the chute or the barrel on top. Meaning that we couldn't have used the, the weighted ejector in this setup. This is a bit of a nasty looking setup to be fair. We've got the rotational speed controller and stuff. But yeah, it, it's not the best looking. So maybe we do move this over. Yeah, let's do that now. Okay, it's kind of all clumped together, but it's all put back together. This doesn't need to be a in-case chain drive. I just realized that could be a shaft, but it is fine. Um, I've also bumped this up to be 64. I think if I go any higher than that. Oh, I can make it go a little bit higher. 80. 96. Okay, 96 is the highest it can go. That does mean that my, uh, my saws over here 
they are going a lot faster as well. So I kind of want to go... Is there, there's no trees around, is there? There's a tree over there. I'm going to chop down a tree and see how quick it is to make us, like, the six planks. Okay, here we go. I'm going to chuck seven. Oh, okay. Why did you go in there? Oh, of course you're going in the wrong direction. Classic. That's pretty quick, though. That's actually pretty darn quick. Okay, I need to set this up on the other side or change. I'm just going to set it up on the other side. No, I really want it to come out this side. Damn it. I can make that a gearbox and then make that a gearbox as well. I think that might have the same rotation. Okay, take two. These are weird because they, um, they're spinning in this direction, but they cut in this direction. So strange. But take two is we lob those in. And there we go. It's, it's working again. Lovely. Cool. Well, I think that might be all that we have time for for today. So we did manage to set up the pyrolyte. No, not the, the pyrolyzer is over here. The pulverizer and redstone furnace. And that got us a bunch of wrought iron and a bit of nickel. And yeah, we're in a good position right now, I think, to maybe set up an arc furnace next episode. I will get my... Uh, See, now, I don't know if I want to make the arc furnace or the thing that makes steel now. That's that's the big question. By the way, this is being powered by two of these water wheels. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Anyway, yeah, I don't know if we should get the improved um, blast furnace or we should get the arc furnace first. Probably get the improved blast furnace because we can run that off maybe over here and maybe we have it at the back right here not entirely sure i'll have to plan that between episodes but that is all we've got time for so thank you for watching thanks for joining and i will see you in the next one bye